Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a second video in the uh, series on the registry for Windows. So in the first we explained a little bit what was the registry. Now this time we're going to show you the structure of the registry. So you can fire up the registry if you're in Windows 7 you can just type um, you just go into the run command and type reg edit. In Windows 8, Windows uh, 10, you can actually type reg edit and just press the enter key in the search. It will actually bring you the registry. So, the registry, the structure of the registry, of course, is it's kind of similar to um, directory files because you have these things that look like folders and you've got subfolders and each subfolder has other subfolders and so on. So um, you can see it by the little arrows that are pointing either straight ahead, meaning that's one of the folders. And if you click on it, it's pointing straight down, saying that it's actually opened that area. And uh, so this is um, something that's called either the main key or sometimes also referred to as a hive. And the key has subkeys and of course it contains values. So for example here if I just look at it you can see here on the right side there are some values that are written with the keys and the entry. So these are key, the, basically the main keys. This is the five main keys that you see on the left or also referred to as hives. Hives are the topmost portions of the data tree. So here you've got hives because they are the topmost portion of the data tree for each category. And what you have in the categories is HKEY classes root. That refers to the hive that contains the information which pertains to the core user interface uh, such as file associations and shortcuts and so on. It's really the basics of your Windows operating system information are in the HKEY classes root. Then you've got HKEY current user. HKEY current user is the hive that contains the preferences, the configuration for a particular user that is currently logged in. So my HKEY current user right now would have information about my user account that I'm using to make this video. If you have multiple user accounts on your system, each HKEY current user hive is unique to each user. So each user has its own HKEY current user. Meaning if you do a change in this one here, you're not changing anything and the other users on your system. Then you've got HKEY local machine. This hive contains the configuration of the actual computer. The information in this hive remains the same regardless of the user currently logged on. So basically all the basics of the drivers, all the basics of uh, the hardware and the basics of Windows core information and this is really for the system that you're using. So each computer you use has a unique HKEY local machine hive. But the hive in the HKEY local machine and the keys and the information is the same across all users that will use the same computer. Then you've got HKEY users. This hive contains the user information for all the users that have ever logged on to this computer. So basically it contains information of every user account. It has information that is uh, pertained to every user on that same computer. Think about this key as being a general key for every user. So if you change something here, you change it for every user on the system. And finally, HKEY current config <coughs> is basically the hive that contains the information about current hardware configuration, software that installed, and also uh, it is linked sometimes to the uh, HKEY LM hive 
uh, basically the H key local machine. So all the configuration of the system is in here on the hardware side and it has links that go to the H key local machine side also. So they're kind of linked together if you want. So this is pretty much the information of the first five hives in the registry. So after that, we're going to continue on and learn a little more about each hive, about you know information that you can um, change and how to find settings and so on. So if you enjoy a little series, why not subscribe to uh, our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know as we continue this little uh, exploration of the Windows registry.